Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more I, the Somnium Files, the Nirvana Initiative. So last episode, we were looking for Mame, right? And we ended up here at Sunfish Pocket. So she's right here with Lien. So let's talk to them. Um, about this incident, it's due to Divitza. Hey, what happened at the studio? I just want a clue. Anything at all would be helpful. Okay, as usual, she's not going to be talking. Why did you go to the Horidori Institute? Four days ago, on the 10th of February, you went to Horidori Institute, right? Lian told me. Hey, come on! Why did you go to Horidori Institute? Did you meet Tokiko there? My god, silence. Why are you here? Seeing that you're wearing your outfit, are you working today? Of course, it's Valentine's Day. There's going to be tons of customers here. And they need as many mermaids as they can get. So her manager begged her to work today. Even though she can't talk? She can write. But... Oh yeah, she couldn't talk right now because she has a phone here, right? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember. about Terror? Mame, you ran into Terror at the studio, didn't you? Did they say anything to you? Like I said, Mame can't talk right now. I thought I told you. Fine, and then you, sir. Why are you here? I told you, I was going to meet Kizzy today. She wanted to meet here. Where is Kizuna now? She told me a little bit ago that she's running late. She'll be here after she finishes shopping with Iris. Oh, is Iris coming too? Yeah, it was actually Iris who planned the night out. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. Video night? What does that mean? I don't really know, actually. All I know is, this wasn't a solo date with me and Kizzy. I don't understand what Mommy could be thinking. What's going on in her head? Why don't you ask her to write something? Looking at her now, I don't think she'll write anything. Well, then... Yeah. We got a sink. We should ask her heart. Yeah. Using the sink machine. The normal thing to do to sync with her. Okay, finally we can get inside her head. Honestly, she's been like ment mentally unstable, right? Like every time. Like whenever she's with Genny as well. She's not even talking sometimes. Good thing Boss and Pewter aren't here. I'm sure they'll chew you out later. You know it's a crime to use the machine without permission. You could even get fired for this. It's fine. If I get results, boss won't care. Hmm, you think so? Tama, can you control the machine? You can do it remotely, right? Are you really going to do this? Mame ran into terror. I'm sure of it. It's highly likely she knows something important. Please, Tama. Please help me. You're my only hope. Oh, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll do it. I'm going to skip the warning message because I'm sure you already know. Okay, start it. What was that? Could you start, please? That's better. Here yes. I go. Say the magic Three, word. Two, one. A mommy toy. Oh, studio. And there's a lot of water because she's a mermaid. This is Studio Devita. The Faith to Face set is still up. That means. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. We have the brand new star of the net world visiting us today. What? Please show us your dance. You want me to dance? No, no, I'm not Aiba. I can't dance. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen Tama dance yet. Only Aiba does then. Come on, let's see it. 
Ugh, I hate that look he gets in his eyes when he's ignoring me. Fine, I'll do it. Resist, allow your heart to take you. Never let this merciless world erase you. Oh. She's very shy. <laughs> that didn't really do it for me. Kameji. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeji. It's Komeji. This facial expression isn't changing at all. It's creepy. This is a competition for the one and only Quiz King's throne. And tonight, as always, we have a head-to-head -head battle between the champion and challenger. And of course, the champion is me, Andy's Komeji. The challenger is... Me? Can the challenger beat me? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. What the hell is this? I didn't agree to this. I knew Mommy liked quiz shows, but I didn't expect her to dream about them too. The rules are simple. After five rounds of quizzes, whoever has more correct answers will be the winner. The winner will receive this amazing prize. What? The prize is a mame? A mame, please tell us how you're feeling. Okay, she still ain't saying anything. Hmm. Shy, huh? We'll talk to you throughout the show. The first stage will be right after these commercial messages. A mame is the prize. What kind of show is this? I guess we have no choice but to accept the challenge. If we win, we might learn something about terror, too. Oh well. If this is a competition, I'm gonna do my best, Ryuki. I'll finish the scan before the commercials even end. Somnium scan, activate! So I wonder how this Somnium is gonna do, or gonna work. Because we're in a quiz, right? Are we gonna do quizzes? That's gonna be uh, very interesting. And I love quizzes. Mental lock four. We got five again. Okay. Get information in terror. Stage one. Let's begin. Who will be reading the questions? Very exciting. I guess he's not going to read the questions himself. Makes sense. I wonder who it'll be. Oh, it's Mizuki. Mizuki? Hello, I'm Mizuki Date. It's funny like how all of them talk like they're dead, right? I don't really get trivia questions or whatever, but here's the first one. No, not dead, but yeah, no emotions. Stage one is the scavenger quiz. We filled the studio with different items. Please choose the item you think is the answer. Mm, Quickest okay. to answer wins. I guess it's like a scavenger hunt? Guess so. Here's the first question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. Huh, that's the question? Jeez, a tough one right from the start. Wait, what? A mommy like watching quiz shows as a child, she enjoyed seeing more of the truth the more she answered. Wait, what? What should we choose for this question? There is no correlation between them. There doesn't seem to be a correct or incorrect answer. I'm most curious about the labels. Hmm. I think they're evidence markers, to be exact. There's H. numbers, letters. Tons of different things. Bookman. I wonder what it means. Out of rabbit. Another it, thing is the background music. Yeah, it's playing. So maybe we can choose the Volkman, right? It's not a very good jingle for thinking about your answer. Because what does like uh this one magazine do for music like this? I think we'll choose the Volkman. Where is it? Number nine. It says here. Folkman, the song Gen gave to Amame. It's inside that cassette tape. But why did you think this was the right answer? The music. The BGM and this label. I just connected the dots. 
Good enough reason for me. The answer is Volkman. Good job, Challenger. That's correct. Good job, Ryuki. It was the ninth, so I chose the label with a nine. And yeah, what can you even connect, for example, uh, Mizuki's pipe to music right there? Nothing. And the you robot, sound like right? You could do this all day. Huh? Did you say Date? Uh, no. <laughs> what are you, in love with him or something? Mame's always listening to Gen's song with this. He said all day. Amami was troubled. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question. What's oh. the correct answer? Another Your time music? starts now. It's the same question again. The BGM is different. Ain't this... Uh, I know this song though, but yeah, what... Wait, what? Magazine. Omelette Christ. Bone. Other rabbit. Elephant. Dude, what do we choose here? Headphones? Shoma's headphones. Why is this the answer? I thought with the music playing and all, the answer might have something to do with headphones. I see. Yeah, maybe we can choose so this. So the answer is headphones. Oh, is no, wrong. That's not it. I think we're on the right track. What? What is this? Elephant trinket. I can picture this thing being at Brahman. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. The answer is this. The elephant trinket. But how does the music connect to the elephant right. though? It's not like it's playing. Challenger, you are correct. Keep it up. No, no, but I mean, it's not like it's playing the Brahmin uh, music, right? The theme music. The BGM was Symphony Number no. Five, so the correct answer was the one with five on it. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, it's easy if you know the title of the song. When Mame saw this at the store, she bought it right away. Not really. She said it made her super lucky. Wonder if it worked. This is okay. the last question of stage one. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. It's the last one. Let's get this. I've heard this song somewhere. I think a lot of people have heard this song. Yeah. J. G. H. Let me try the robot. Or this one. What's the name of this fish? It's a Cryptosaurus Kusiai, I think. You think? Anyway, this is the answer. Wrong. Damn, it's not it. Sorry. Let's think about it more. This is hard though, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is really hard. The answer is this. Oh. How? Correct, champion. All right. I'm gonna defend my championship throne. <sighs> He's not the champion for nothing. He must have really earned that Quiz King title. That's the end of the scavenger quiz. Let's look at the results. The challenger is in the lead. Can they take the champion's throne? I guess this shows the standings. We're in blue. I've seen a quiz show like this before. So basically it's 2-1 right now. I'm under I'm in the lead, I mean. It's Mame. Something is wrong with her. Why? 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 Why are you laughing like that? Mental lock one finished. Yeah, that was hard, man. That was really hard. What did she say? Like the music there was very familiar, but uh, of course I don't know like I numbers, etc. <laughs> She's not doing too good. Oh, Iris is here. Stage two is brought to you by me, Aset. You bet. Aset, it's you Iris bet. This time. Iris with no pep? That's something you don't see every day. I'm sure my fans know this about me, but I'm really into the occult. 
So my questions are going to be about occult things. Oh, okay. The name of this stage is a cult quiz. So I guess we need to be very fast here. Chart. Please answer with a name or word. Yeah, we need to be faster than Komeji, I guess. Here is the first question. Which of these represents a historical secret society, and can you name it? Hmm. It's either A or B, right? B, B. Yeah, but we need to answer with the actual name, not A or B. Okay, so one of these represents a secret society, and we have to name it. Let's think about it. Begin. Wait, wait, how do I answer? What? What should we say? Oh, hell, I need to type it. Uh, Brother Grand Lodge Boy Scout Compass Providence. Can we try uh, Freemasons? I remember them saying this, right? Freemasons. Okay, it's uh. The answer is B. Freemasons. Correct. Yes. The challenger is correct. Well I mean, at done. least if we can get two, we, we we're the good. The Freemasons are said to have existed since the 16th century and have members all over the world. Their purpose and recruitment tactics remain a mystery. Hey, it's okay to talk about them like this, right? We're not in trouble are we it should be fine it's just iris's opinion well i guess mommy's opinion by the way a was the office i'm from lemniscate oh yeah i guess <laughs> a is lemniscate yeah yeah when in doubt or hiding something she chose the here comes the second question Many unidentified mysterious animals, or umas, have been discovered. Okay, I think I know this. Which one is smaller? An uma question. I'm not too confident here. Have confidence. Judging from the characteristics of A and B, this could be easy. Begin. No, 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 I'm confident here. Yeah, Puerto Rico, blood, fangs, livestock, What right? should we say? I'm confident here. Shu Ba Ka Bara Yes, I know this. How about B? Chupacabra. Correct challenger. Good answer. Bigfoot A is up to ten feet tall. Chupacabra B is no more than six feet tall. Damn. That's still bigger than I was thinking. Scary. They could be the same size as you, Ryuki. That is a scary thought. She chose the op op option on the right. This is the last question of the occult quiz. Which of these two things affect the human psyche and behavior, A or B? Wait, what? Net lore hitchhiker Kuchisakani Ona, Kuchisaki Ona. I think that is the was it was it called slit, slit lips? I forgot. Effect is sort of vague. There could be a lot of answers. I guess we're supposed to choose the best representative answer. I don't know this Begin. one. Begin. This is way too hard. Yeah, what the hell is this? Takiti scope. How do I know this one? Then? I think we'll just uh, answer randomly here. Yeah, I don't really know what to say here. Like the first one, much more easier. Let's just say Somnium. Somnium. Yeah, I don't know. This is way too hard. Damn it. The answer is B. Subliminal. Subliminal? Correct, champion. Marvelous. The champion is amazing. A true master of the craft. No, but I got two answers correct, though. Don't praise the guy who just beat us. That is all for the occult quiz. I wonder what the panel looks like now. Well, well, well. The challenger is keeping up. That's it for stage two. Three stages left. 
Let's keep it up. Oh yeah, because we have five mental locks. Yeah, but at least we're in the lead. Oh, Amame showed up again. Why did this? She's back. Dos attempted a cult quiz. There's something about Mame. Is it about the case? I don't know. We don't know enough to say for sure. The prize is Mame, right? If we win, we can ask her directly. Oh, Gen Now I, Gen Ishiagane, will be asking the questions. Gen next. Stage three is spot the difference. Huh? Okay, spot the difference now. Whoa. Is that Mizuki? She's dead. But... The challenger will attempt to find the differences from there. Find the differences? There are three monitors in the room. What is shown on the screen is different from what is actually there. You have to spot these differences. Compare the monitor and the real scene. There are four differences. Okay, we just need to compare things. Doesn't seem too hard. Don't be so sure. There's a ton of stuff to look through. We gotta be careful. Now we will begin. Hmm, what is this? Choose magazine. So where am I? So Shoma's right here. Oh, there's no magazine here. Okay, click it. This magazine was in the studio too. It's in pieces though. Should we piece it together? No, I think this is fine as is. I see. It's a difference. That is correct, Challenger. Got another one. There is a blue figure on the monitor in the same place. How does that relate to the book? Oh. Whoa. It's blood. blood. This is creepy. It is creepy. Amame came across many. So, next. Oh, Kizuna. Yeah, she's dead here. Kizuna! Kizuna! No reaction. She looks different from the monitor. One difference is Kizuna. That is correct, Challenger. <laughs> Kizuna? She disappeared. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm really, really loving this quiz type of Somnium. Oh, Mizuki. Okay. Mizuki. Mizuki. She's not moving at all. No. We can ignore why she's bloody for now. But in any case, this looks like a difference. That is correct, Challenger. Ugh, it hurts. Mizuki? What's going on? Amami came across many wounded things, important things, the heart, blood. Okay, this one is not here. It's a wrench there. Blue figure is split from top to bottom. I think it's symbolizing the case. Is that a wrench on the screen? How is it related? There's so much going on. I don't get it. But at least we can say this is another difference. That is correct, Challenger. No, you can see the eyeball in the screen, right? Oh my god, I didn't see that. Whoa. I don't know how to describe it. It's more... corpsey. She carries all of it inside. We did it. The challenger got all the answers correct. Good work. I am amazing. Though it's hard to celebrate after seeing that. Well, this again? Okay, we're back to doing more quizzes.
Oh, we made it back to the studio. Huh? Isn't that... Amame? Oh! Oh, it's Komeiji. Oh. Sheesh. Shouldn't make an old geezer walk so much. Komeiji? It's the same as when the body was found, so it probably is. Well done. Let's check the board. The challenger is putting up a good fight. Oh, I'm winning. If the winning. game is still going, can the champion continue? I... Uh, I don't know. Ryuki! Oh! Bloody face. Ultimate what was that flood? 50 /50. This is way too deep. Good work, Challenger. Giving me a run for my money. Andy's Komeji. Other than the voice, he seems to be okay. I see that you're quite capable, so now it's my turn to deliver the quiz. The fourth stage is the ultimate 50-50. I thought we were competing against him. Yeah, the way he is now, he obviously can't answer any questions. The rules are simple. Answer the questions as quickly as possible, on instinct. Challenger, go sit at the deluxe chair over there. Hmm. There are ten questions. If you need to use the restroom, do it now. It's fine. I've never used the bathroom in my life. What? Do you have an image to maintain? In any case, let's begin. Oh, here we go, here we go. Question. Which would you rather eat? Poo-flavored curry or curry-flavored poo? Oh, that hell. That question has been around forever. I didn't know there was a correct answer. Hmm. I can't put anything in my mouth that's poo-flavored. The answer is curry flavored poo. <laughs> Guess I was right. Humans are terrifying creatures. You'll eat anything as long as it's curry flavored. At that point, I'd say we're going beyond ordinary humans. Next. So basically the questions are gonna be like this though. Next question. If you could use a time machine, would you go to the future or the past? Another question with no right answer? Is this how it's going to be? Yeah, this is gonna be like the- yeah, this is gonna be the quiz. No right answer, just basically whatever you wanna say. Hmm, that's a hard question. I wanna go to the past. Well, that's an easy one. I want to change my past. The answer is the past. I wish I really could go back. Yeah, I understand. To save his brother, right? Next question. Which would you rather have? An ideal job or an ideal lover? I mean job. I'm happy to have this job. I can't even think about losing it. Answer. Ideal job. That was the ideal answer. I'm sure your boss would be happy. Actually, I did kind of consider that. Next question. Be truthful and be poor, or lie and make money. Which would you choose? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm honorable. It's hard to live a lie. So the answer is truthful and poor. Yeah. Eat the rich. Let's start a red revolution. But yeah, but but these days, but these days I'll probably lie. What's gotten into you? A lot of people need money now. That's reality, I mean. Next question. Which is worse to lose? The father or mother? Oh no, this is hard. This is very hard. 
I don't know. I'll just choose mother, I guess. I don't think there's any good choice yeah. here. The mother? The answer is mother. Why did you choose that? Uh, I felt like it. Yeah, I just felt like it. This is hard. This is a very, very hard question. No joke. Next question. Which would be worse to lose? Sight or hearing? Oh, dude, I would lose my hearing, yeah. Hmm. I don't get excited if there's no voices. The answer is hearing. Oh, no, no, my bad. I was gonna choose, uh, eyesight was worse to lose. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I wanted to choose the other one. What did you mean by that, anyway? Bodybuilding competitions would be so boring without a crowd cheering. Uh, okay. Okay, my bad. Next question. Someone important was hurt in front of you. Do you make the person responsible apologize or get revenge? They apologize. Get an apology. No one should strive for revenge. The answer is apology. Though I guess the effectiveness of an apology depends on the damage caused. And that's a good point. How many? How many questions did we answer already? Next question. What would you do if your best friend and your family are about to die? Oh, hell but you could no. only save one? I don't know. Probably Not family. Sure. Yeah. Family? Like, these questions are literally hard. The answer is family. I wonder what the point of all these questions is. Yeah. I don't know. Only two more left. Next question. I can never meet my loved one again. If you could just forget sadness, what do you forget? Or remember? You mean only the sad memory? Forget. If that's even possible, I'd want to forget. Even the good memories, the happy times. Sadness can taint all that. It's best to forget, yeah. Okay. Next question. We got one more. Which do you choose? Have your biggest secret spilled or be part of some dangerous plan? Past versus future. Have your past secret exposed or your future compromised by some scheme? I'd rather accept problems from my past than ruin my future. The answer is have my biggest secret spilled. This question was so vague with secrets and schemes and all. It's hard to answer. Yeah, it could be anything. That is it. Yeah! The challenger answered all questions correctly. 100%. We did it. <laughs> this is what the standings look like. Did I now won? I think I completely understand you, Challenger. Yeah, I literally got all the answers except the first two ones. Or for the first two quizzes, I mean. Huh? What? Things are getting ominous. The Challenger now the final stage. There are four total questions. If you get them all right, you win. What is this? Komeji's voice is... Question one. What is this face? Um... This face is... Terrorized, threatened, pressured... Intimidated? Intimidated, I guess. Correct. I mean, is there even a wrong answer there? This. Threatened. Yeah, you could also say threatened, right? What is this? And this Gumeji. 
Shoma's father. Yeah, all of these are correct. What's this question about? Question three. Who was enlightened by the Nirvana Initiative? What? Um, let's just say terror. Uh, no, 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 um, use it. No, but we, we have four questions though, right? Oh, okay, let's not use it for now. We got one more. Mame must have heard about the Nirvana initiative from him. Final question. I got present again. My only option now is... What are you asking? What? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it either, but... This is probably everything that's happened to Mame. That was it? What was I mean, that? We did it. What, what the? Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. Dude, what is this? I'm here. Tom, talk to Mame. Quick. Amame, tell me. What did Terra say to you? Nirvana collected genocide. What? What do you mean? Tama, be more specific. Mame must have some kind of critical information. No, Ryuki, we're out of time. No. Let's get out of here. I mean, at least we won. We did it. Causality. Causality effect. The mind of God. Mommy is still sleeping. I think we gave her too much. We needed pewter. Anyway, that Somnium. Those final words are thought-provoking. Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. Something to do with the Nirvana Initiative? Probably. Bunch, Bunch of people who watched, watched it have gone, gone missing. missing. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. So the rumors were true. Ryuki, you've got a call. From who? Pick up and find out. Aiba? Aiba. Quiet. Stop yelling. This is an emergency. What is it? Kizuna Chieda. She's gone missing. Oh, what? No. 
Ryuki, and now Kizzy's you can gun. provide invaluable assistance. Will you look for Kizuna? Well, yeah, of course. Understood. Good luck. Kizuna. Missing. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. Maybe Kizuna saw the video and... Nirvana... Collected... Genocide... I don't know what is happening. I don't know what the end game is gonna be in this one, right? Like, for example, when you compare it to the first game, the first game you you'd you'd know that the end game is gonna be with the Cyclops killer, right? But here, yeah, terror. But there seems to be more. Ryuki, you look more drained than a bathtub. Are you okay? Yeah. Aiba. Oh no, that's Tama. Okay, that's Tama. Were you able to get some sleep? No. Not really, but it's fine. This is nothing. If you say so. Ryuk, those who sell water are up to no good. Okay. What kind of advice is that? Okay, I think we're in a serious situation right now. Any information in the HB case? Sorry, but I really don't have anything useful for you. None of this is adding up. We want to discover Terror's identity, how they chose their victims, why they cut them in half. What is going on inside the head of a serial killer like that? I'd have a better chance of guessing what's going on inside the head of a teenager. Are you talking about your daughter? Yeah, she didn't come home last night. I was able to get a hold of her, so I know she's safe, but she worries me. She doesn't even seem to realize it. Maybe she got that from you. No, that can't be it. Because she's... She's what? Adopted. Okay. Uh, is it comfortable there? Not bad. Though you are sweating a little. Because you're radiating heat. Um, how are you doing, Tama? Mm, same old, same old. Why do you ask? No, it's just... Why are you looking at me? Well, because... You look tired. There's something important to me. It's something I love. It's dear and it's irreplaceable. And I need to protect it no matter what. So I can't be saying I'm tired or I don't have the energy. What are you talking about? I have no idea. How are you? It's all right now because I am here. Half for all, full time something. He's always doing the all might thing. Stupid. You're stupid. The person who says you're stupid is stupid. The person who says you're stupid is stupid is stupid. Ryuki, are you doing okay? Like, mentally? You're the one who got him like this. Me? What did I do? I mean, obviously not. Close the AI site. Anything for Tama? How about... Or, yeah, about the video. Kizuna disappeared after watching the video, right? I've heard the stories about people going missing after watching some video. It could mean that she's with the other people that disappeared. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location. And they're all getting murdered. I think it's safe to say that the QR video has to do with our terror. After all, the QR video that linked there was found on Jin's body. That connects terror to the disappearances. Meaning if we find where Kizuna and the others disappeared to, we might be able to find terror as well. Anything on Kizuna? If I knew, I would have told you already. Needless to say, Kizuna's phone isn't any help. We asked her friends too, but none of them know where she is. How about uh, Kizu Kizuna's family? Well, it was Richi who first reported her missing. It was late and Kizuna wasn't home yet, so he called the police. He thought she might have been kidnapped for ransom, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So far, it doesn't look like the culprit has tried to contact the family at all. In any case, you have one goal. Find Kizuna, no matter what. Finding her should be a breakthrough in the HB case. 
Right, but where do we even look? We need to turn over every stone. Ryuki, Tama, good luck. Roger that. Let's go. Roger, roger. Oh yeah, I guess um, we'll just check the files today. Before we end. Wait, nothing? Literally nothing here? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So yes, uh, we will end our episode there for today. So we synced with Mame and she, yeah, she's been saying some cryptic stuff, right? But I think this is my favorite Somnium by far in this game. I just love quizzes. Sure, it's not like totally, totally like a quiz. I guess the first uh, two ones, the first two uh, memory unlocks. Yeah, where, where are the quizzes, right? And then afterwards, especially the fourth one, there was no right answer to that one, right? But I did enjoy this. Yeah, I did enjoy this. My favorite, favorite, favorite Somnium by far. So we found Amame. I guess she still she was still sleeping, right? And now Kizuna is the one who's gone missing. So we're gonna have to find her next episode. So we're gonna continue this and do more of I the Somnium Files, the Nirvana Initiative, in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye bye.